the uh, sushi burger is not going as smoothly as I thought it would, but it's all right. Boom, bacon sushi, or sushi bacon cheeseburger, let's call it that. That's not half bad, actually, that's pretty good. Well, guys, we're back. It's been like a month since I've made my last cooking video, which at this point, I'm pretty sure is considered some sort of crime. But don't worry, daddy's home. Okay, um, I need you guys to make a promise to me that if I ever say that again, you will kill me. Okay, guys, I haven't been sleeping well. My head's been hurting these last few weeks. I've been feeling like I was missing something, and I think this is it. I was having bad YouTube cooking withdrawals, but uh, I think we might have an overdose today because we are once again going to check in on our best friend, King Cobra JFS, a man who at this point needs no introduction. If you've never seen a King Cobra JFS cooking video, I'm not going to give you anything to go off of because you need to experience this in the truest form. Sushi, bacon, cheeseburger. That that is the name of the game today. Now for the first time ever, I'm getting this straight from the source. I actually managed to find this on King Cobra's real channel, not on a different channel that edits these together. So we have over an hour of footage to go through. So uh, wish me luck. You guys will probably only see about 10% of it, but hey, that's why I do what I do. Now real quick before we begin, I would like to once again, shamelessly plug myself and my glow in the dark makeshift plushies that are currently available for sale right at this moment, people. These bad boys are only available for three weeks and that availability has already ticked down by about a week at this point so if you want one don't wait if you're interested in getting yourself one there will be a link in the description if you're not interested in getting yourself one that's okay because you're about to embark on a journey with me and that's all i can really ask for so let's not waste any more time let's begin and please subscribe all right so we're going to step away from the live video for a second come with me on a magical journey so we're going to start off with our bun for the sandwich. Boom. Well, what does Cobra use for his burgers? Texas toast. Pay attention. You know, it's truly a power move when you pose a question to your audience that nobody asked. And then when nobody answers, because you know, you're in a room alone. You berate your audience for not knowing the answer. I like it. Um, 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 Texas toast is, 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 is not, is not, is not a burger bun. Um, um, Texas toast is, uh, uh, shut up. My God, did he just throw up mid-sentence? I think that's the most guttural burp I've ever heard. I don't know why Cobra seems to be in such an argumentative mood today. Maybe the voices are talking to him, but, uh, by definition, Texas toast is not a hamburger bun. It's a fine thing to use for a burger, and for some sandwich configurations, I'd say it's even better. But a hamburger bun, it is not. Just like that. All right, I know I've made this joke before, but I don't think it's ever been more appropriate. This pan is straight out of the Resident Evil 7 kitchen. I mean, my God, if you deglazed this thing, you'd start a new plague. You can count individual specks of debris, and there's hundreds of them. I've said it once, and I'll say it again. We need to be studying Cobra's immune system. There are answers here, people. Okay, so I'm not joking here when I say that he spends over four minutes toasting this bread, so uh, I'm not sure if he's trying to toast it via sheer will or what's going on here, but um, I'm gonna spare you the four minutes of commentary over how to toast a bread with Tony Satry's seasoning on it, okay? We have 100% pure beef burgers, 80% lean, 20% fat. I'm sure the burgers that are higher in fat are gonna taste really good, but I tend to go for beef that's higher and lean. A leaner beef is the way I like to go on my burgers. Okay, so I don't know if King Cobra is actually just a genius and he's playing us all here, or if he genuinely believes that 80-20 ground beef is considered lean. I mean, they don't even really sell anything under 70-30. 80-20 is definitely considered a fatty burger, I would have to say. But then again, I only buy 97-3, so maybe I'm just a psychopath. All right, so it's right about now that I'm really beginning to appreciate all the channels that cut these videos up and make them watchable, because I'm not joking, we're 10 minutes in into this hour-long video and he's still not done toasting the buns. I mean, is he just toasting them through the ambient temperature in his house? Does he have his heat cranked up? Because it does not take this long. Actually, yeah, that is the perfect amount of bacon on that patty. Look at that. That is beautiful. All right, so now, go ahead and turn the stove off. And uh, now we're going to add some cheese to the top of that bacon. I'll try not to uh, tip over the camera here. 
get centered. There we go. It's from this angle where you can really appreciate how this burger is essentially one part burger, one part carbon. And the same thing goes for the bacon. I guess even Cobra himself got kind of tired of how long it was taking for that bread to toast. So he turned up the heat a little bit. And we can see that reflected in our meat here. I know this video is kind of jumping around quite a bit, but seriously guys, most of this video is Cobra just holding the camera over the pan and going, yeah, mmm, bacon. Nice. You're not missing a whole lot, I promise. Now the bacon sushi cheeseburger gets two different kinds of cheeses. Two slices of Swiss cheese right there, just like that. Our second cheese we're gonna use is mozzarella. Has Cobra ever had a burger outside of his home? Because this man puts mozzarella on every single burger he's ever made. And I know it's not like unheard of, but if you go anywhere and you order a burger with shredded mozzarella on it, someone's gonna call the cops on you. And I don't know if that's an overreaction. Melt the cheese on the top of that burger in the microwave for one minute. And then we're gonna bring the phone over here. Now I found the perfect spot to assemble the burger. Right here. I end up having to move my uh, Ouija board out of the way for a second. If this man is not playing a character, if he's really just being himself, I don't think anybody on the planet could write better comedy than what he just does naturally. Firstly, I love that the perfect camera angle for building this burger is one where one third of the camera view is obstructed by what appears to be a torn off piece of cardboard. It's also absolutely hilarious to me that this guy just had a Ouija board on his table as if he was contacting spirits prior to recording this. Maybe the spirits are the ones who told him to make this burger. Maybe Maybe he thought he was talking to a good one, but he actually got a demon. That would actually explain quite a bit. Now we're not done with this burger just yet. Well, let's take a look at what we got so far. Look at all that melted cheese, baby. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Now we're rocking, now we're talking. Look, I know this guy lives alone, and I can't imagine he's hosting many dinner parties, but still, the general disregard for any sort of hygiene around the food you're about to eat is a little yucky, I think we can all agree. I'm gonna put some hand sanitizer on, because I just had to blow my nose right quick. I uh, was not expecting to have that just sneak up on me like that, but there you go. We'll slap my mama. I just got retroactively roasted. Look at me. Look at me jumping to conclusions. I'll take that one in stride, Cobra. Banzai Sushi Company. You get 15 pieces, dethaw, and serve. So... Get into it. I don't see any um, ginger leaves, but it does have the wasabi and it does have soy sauce. So that'll do nicely. So this is what our uh, California rolls look like. Nice and presentable. So now... Guys, it's it's gotta be a bit, right? It has to be a bit. He's picked up this camera like three or four times, yet every time he's put it back where this cardboard is blocking the view. It's gotta be a joke, right? Please tell me it's a joke, Cobra. It's dethawed to the point where it's eatable. Okay, these gotta dethaw for a little bit. That's all right. That's quite all right, YouTube. We'll make this work. So we're gonna take four sushi rolls stick them on top just like that i want to stick these in the fridge because they look like they need, they need to uh, dethaw a bit more i've got to say it again i don't think anybody could write something better than this the man is acknowledging that the sushi he's about to eat is still frozen yet he puts the sushi he wants to eat on the burger, and then puts the sushi he's not gonna eat back in the fridge to start thawing. Keep in mind, he just took this out of the freezer, so this is definitely frozen solid. And he's just like, screw it, we've gotta eat and we gotta eat right now. Now, in order to uh, make this more, uh, how you say, eatable, let's see. 
I want to mark away, but again... This is a joke, correct? We fully committed to the bit? That's it, right? Because there's no way anybody's doing this, surely. On the list of things that don't go into a microwave, you've got sushi right there at the top claiming the podium. You've got the Resident Evil 7 skillet mixed with burnt burger, burnt bacon, and now microwave frozen sushi. This man is about to learn very shortly that you can pee out of both holes. Okay, I see the problem here. We're trying to microwave it with it on top of the burger, that cheese is continuing to melt and it's getting all over the plate, so. Ah, yeah, that's the main problem here. Your shredded mozzarella is getting all over the place. I'm glad we're focusing on the real issues, Cobra. Just to make the sushi chewy like it's supposed to be, about seven seconds left. Okay, it's a little bit warm, but that's all right. Now to the top of this sushi burger, we're gonna add One more ingredient, or two more, I should say. We're gonna add soy sauce. Don't wanna get soy sauce all over the Ouija board. Wasabi! Wouldn't be sushi without a little bit of wasabi, eh? Cobra, buddy, nothing you do to this at all would turn this into sushi, I'm sorry. I find it kind of a stretch to call frozen grocery store sushi sushi in the first place. But we're far past that at this point. What you've created is an abomination. Everyone who had a hand in creating the ingredients you're using today is rolling in their grave. You're gonna have some pretty angry spirits to answer to once you whip out that Ouija board again. You've gone a step too far today, Cobra. So it took a little bit of um, patience and some trial and error and some learning but there we go there's the wasabi sauce right on top of there get that to squeeze just like that boom but there you have it a um sushi bacon cheeseburger i know initially my plan was not to cook the sushi in the microwave to soften it up my plan was to have it already de-thawed, ready to go, but... Well, things change, so... I think this is my favorite part of the video, saying the original plan was to make this burger without having to cook or warm up the sushi, while also not taking the sushi out of the freezer until the moment you needed it. I feel like those two actions kind of contradict each other, but hey, who am I to judge? Boom. Bacon sushi... Or sushi bacon cheeseburger, let's call it that. Yeah. Sushi bacon cheeseburger, right there. Now, all the grease from the bacon and the burger has soaked into the bottom bun. That's why it's so freaking hot. Cobra, uh, sorry for the interjection here, but I think this burger is probably so hot because it's seen about 17 minutes in the microwave. I think that might be playing a bigger role than the grease, but um, that's just my guess. Uh, I mean, look at all the grease soaked into the bottom bun right there. Yeah. It's cooled down enough, I can pick it up and eat it. It's still pretty hot, though. Cheese bowl. Mmm. It's definitely got a fishy taste to it. The chewiness from the bacon, the beef... Sushi, the rice, the cheese, and the bread. That's, um... That's not half bad, actually. That's pretty good. Cobra, you are correct. This burger is not half bad because it is fully bad. There is not a chance, not a single one, that any human on the planet could eat this and enjoy it. Cobra, I think that maybe you were born without taste buds. It's the only logical explanation. We have seen this man eat so many things. We've seen him eat a cockroach burrito, and nothing has ever tasted bad. Now we've got the bacon sushi cheeseburger with mozzarella cheese on it. You've got to be kidding me. There's got to be an explanation here, and if somebody doesn't fund the study soon, I'm gonna do it myself. Well guys, what do you think? Where does this rank in the things that we have seen Cobra eat so far? I think it's pretty high up there. Cockroaches are pretty bad, I'll say those are worse, but something about the thought of eating warm, mushy, microwaved, frozen sushi, that's enough to make me vomit, and that's not even considering all the stuff that it's sandwiched between. This was a rough one. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything, but for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.